So, the adult table sucks. <laughs> Last week, a few weeks ago, I was at my grandparents' house because it was Father's Day weekend and I was forced to take some time off to spend some time with family because I'm a workaholic and obviously I don't want to spend any time off, but I genuinely had a good time with my family on the weekend. And it was very nice because I got to see my grandparents, my cousins, my uncles and aunts. Great time. I was wonderful, right? And normally I sit at the kids table because of how our family is arranged, right? And so this time was different because I remember growing up, I always wanted to sit at like the adult table because I never wanted to be treated as a kid. I, 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 I hate, always hated that feeling. And because of that, I was always like, oh, it'd be really cool to like sit at the adult table one day. And I finally uh, got that chance to. Um, my grandma was like, oh yeah, you can sit over here this time. And I was a little confused because I was, I have like my normal spot at the kids table, right? And so I was like, well, that's weird. So because I'm not one to cause conflict because I don't like to, I was like, okay, sure, whatever. So then I sat at the adult table and uh, it was, it was kind of boring. And it was really interesting because I remember when I used to sit at like the kids table, uh, I, I guess I never realized how loud the kids table was until you're not sitting there anymore. Cause like the kids table was always really fun. Cause I was always, I, I would always talk to my cousins, which I like rarely talk to. It would be a good chance to like catch up. I know my one cousin always talks about cars. While I'm not a car person, it's still really fun to hear like his stuff because he works on cars a lot of the time. And it was just a lot of fun to hear him. Although I am not a car person in particular. I get it because I don't have a car anymore. <laughs> Anyways, so you good? No? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. So I would always enjoy my time at the kids table basically, right? And I never realized how fun of an experience it actually was sitting at the kids table because there was two tables adult table kids table basically or at least the adults called it the kids table when everybody's like coming up to their almost 20 so they're not really kids anymore but you know whatever so I get invited over to the adult table I sit there and I didn't really enjoy it that much I'm gonna be honest like I was it was a weird experience for me because like my entire life I've always wanted to be treated as an adult you know and I, I, I would always like not hate sitting at the kids table, but I always be like, oh, you know, it'd be nice to sit at the adult table. So like subconsciously, I've thought that for years since I was like really young. And I finally get this opportunity to sit at the adult table and I'm sitting here like, oh, this is boring. <laughs> this is not as fun. And what's so funny is like I, I would always overhear the kids table, right? Yes, thank you. I, I'm aware that you are there. Thank you for providing me light. The kids table was always a very fun experience. And to have this weird juxtaposition now of like, I finally know what it's like to sit at both. I much prefer the kids table because like it's a totally different vibe and a totally different conversation between the adult table and the kids table when it comes to like family reunions, right? And I'm not talking about like a super big family reunion with like a bunch of families. I'm talking about like very close family, like my parents and then their siblings and then their families, not like super extended family. So it's not even a big gathering to begin with. Yeah, it's just a totally different conversation between tables, you know? It's funny because I was talking to my one cousin. He was mentioning how like adults always want to talk about work, whereas like I don't ever like want to talk about work when I'm not at work. I don't want to think about work. And I'm like, yeah, no, I respect that. I get that. So you have the adult table always talking about work. My uncle always talking about his business. And then you have the kids table where it's just like <laughs> memes and just like anything and everything. And there's a lot more laughter at the kids table because it's just fun. Whereas the adult table, it's just it's a very different vibe and a very serious uh, tone in general and so I and I didn't really say much at the uh, adult table normally I actually have a lot to say at the kids table because I can actually like relate and I can actually it's not even that I can relate it's more so that like I feel more comfortable sitting at the kids table than the adult table for some weird reason I don't know why but it's really weird how I always thought like oh you know I would love to sit at the adult table and feel like an adult because I hate being treated like a kid I just do and so there was a situation where I was like oh Maybe in some ways I don't want to be an adult. Maybe in some ways I still kind of want to be a kid in some aspects, not in every aspect, because like I want to move out and get my own place. Like that's a thing I actually want to do with my life and I will soon. But I'm saying like with choosing the people I hang out with, I think I prefer hanging out with uh, cousins in general, which is interesting to me because I think it's, it's more fun than hearing about uh, work from older people to me i think it's i don't know it was just a more fun atmosphere at the kids table just in general so everybody at the kids table are almost all of them are like not kids anymore but they're like the younger 
uh, adults, younger people in general. So I don't know, it was always a lot of fun to just hang out with them, with my cousins. And uh, cause like I have cousins at the adult table, cousins at the kids table, right? And I realized that I much prefer hanging out with my cousins at the kids table cause the atmosphere is just a lot better, a lot friendlier, a lot more jovial than the um, <laughs> adult table for sure. And it got to a point and I, 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 cause like in my mind, I'm like, okay, I don't want to sit at the adult table the entire night I'm here. So it, there got to a point where it's like, I got up and got some water, then went back when instead of going to the adult table, I kind of like stood near the kids table and just listened to the conversations. And eventually there was an open seat and I sat down at the kids table and like the, the atmosphere was like completely different with <laughs> the adult table. And it was just really funny to me. Not gonna lie, kids table rules. And anybody that says otherwise, I, I genuinely don't understand. <laughs> but it was really funny because like, I think my grandma and my aunt were also sitting at the kids table. It was really funny because I offered multiple times, hey, you can sit at the adult table next to your husband. And she's like, no, I'm fine. I'm like, okay, whatever, <laughs> that's cool. But no, it was an interesting experience too. And it, I wasn't even gonna tell the story, but I was literally watching like an Odd Ones Out video that he posted like today. And he was talking about like his girlfriend's family and that about Thanksgiving. And then that triggered my memory of like, oh, right, at Father's Day, like this happened. And I was like, oh, cool. So kids table rules, uh, anybody that says otherwise is just wrong completely, unless you have a different family than me, then fair enough. But I think generally the vibes are better at the kids table than the adults table, all I'm saying.